Hello and welcome to this video lecture. In today's video lecture, we shall see how to handle missing data using Pandas library. This is the outcome of today's video lecture. At the end of this session, you will be able to handle missing data using Pandas library routines. So we shall see how to handle missing data, how to filter missing data and how also to fill any data if it is missing in, in the CSV files. Before moving ahead, I strongly encourage all of you to refer to the Pandas library documentation to get a basic information and knowledge about Pandas library which will help us to go smoothly through the course of this video lecture. So let us talk about missing values. Now whenever we are using any file, say for example a CSV file in which our data is stored, so there are chances that the, uh, say for example, the sensor which is detecting any information, it did not sense the data and the uh, value that it was supposed to take, it went missing. So many a times data and uh, column values or values stored in the rows are missing and to detect uh, such missing values, we have two functions that is data frame dot is na which helps us to detect missing values in data files uh, or rather data frames and data frame dot is null which also does the same work. We shall see the example of both these routines. So say for example, I have a file named data dot CSV and I want to read this data uh, f uh, using the function read underscore CSV. So this read underscore CSV is a function which has been uh, defined in the pandas library. And uh, once I print uh, the data frame DF which holds the data from the read underscore CSV, uh, you can see the five rows having uh, 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 these columns uh, uh, as serial number, name, age, telephone number and city. So as you can see in the first row, the age of wiki is not mentioned and it is mentioned as not a number. Similarly, the age of Kaushal is uh, mentioned at, as not a number in the data, in the, uh, in the data file. Uh, similarly, the telephone number of Pooja, uh, row number 3 is missing and the city of uh, Pooja is also missing. So many times it may happen that uh, when you are entering data into a general database and say for example you don't have a landline telephone number so you do, won't enter anything in that uh, field and that goes missing. So uh, we need uh, some uh, measure to uh, handle this data, missing data and that is how is NA uh, me method helps us to uh, handle this data. So. Uh, when I um, execute this uh, routine uh, df dot is na, this is the output that I get. So everywhere that I am getting true is the place that there is a missing value. So you can see that the age of uh, wiki has been mentioned as true, which tells us that uh, it is a value that is missing. So wherever in the uh, in the output you see true. Also, you can see the age of Kaushal is being mentioned true. So it is a missing value. So this is how the dot is NA file uh, function helps us to detect missing values. Similarly, the is null function also works on, a, uh, on, uh, on similar lines. So when I run the is null function, uh, we get a similar kind of output where true tells us that the value is missing in the data file. So moving ahead, uh, is na dot any is a routine that returns true if any missing value in a common uh, is uh, if there is any missing value in a column. So the output uh, after the data frame is uh, printed, the output of dot any routine tells us that if any of these uh, columns starting from serial number, name, age to city has uh, null values. If you find a true output in this uh, dot any routine, it, uh, uh, it uh, tells us that there is a value which is um, missing in the particular column. 
So let us see how to find the total number of uh, missing values in a particular column. So is na dot sum routine helps us to find out the number of missing values in a particular column. So in age column, we can see that there are two uh, values which are missing and that is how it shows that two values are missing. Similarly, two values are missing in a telephone number and one value is missing in city and that is uh, done with the help of the dot sum routine. Moving ahead, we have seen how to find out the missing values. Now we will see two ways very popular and common ways uh, that are uh, done or used to help uh, handle these missing values. Now one way of handling these missing values is to drop these uh, values using the drop na function or we can also handle these uh, values by replacing the missing values using the fill na function. Let us see how both these functions work. So the drop and a functions ha has the parameters as given on the screen axis parameter zero for uh, rows or index and one or columns for the columns it takes the rows as default or zero value as default how uh, takes two values any is if any any values are present drop that row or column and if you uh, write how equals all so if all the values are any then drop that row or column we will see how it works in a short while now let us take uh, the same example and uh, i just write df dot drop na so all the values whether it is in a row or a column that has a missing value are dropped and we can see that only one row that is uh, row number one having the values two Nitin age is 20 the telephone number is as given and, and city is Nashik is printed here. So all the other rows or columns uh, were having a um, missing value and that is why they were dropped except from column number one which has these values. So you can see that uh, row number uh, uh, having the index zero was dropped because age was missing. Uh, uh, row number uh, one is printed. Row number three was again uh, dropped because its uh, telephone number and city was missing. Similarly with four and five. So we see that only row number uh, two having the index one is printed because it has all the values present. So we see here when we use the parameter one, it gives us all the columns where the uh, values are present. So any column where even a single missing value is present will be dropped and every column where all the values are present will be printed using the drop any function if we pass one parameter to it. So moving ahead. Uh, we have passed the zero parameter and how equals any. So it gives us the output that we are checking for the rows here and only the row having all the values present in the data uh, is printed. All the other rows are dropped. Here if we change the parameter 0 to 1 and uh, we keep the parameter how equals any what it does is it prints all the columns where all the data is present and leaves all the columns where the data is going missing. Moving ahead, when the parameter is one and we keep how equals all, so it prints all the data irrespective of whether the data is missing or not. This is again similar when the parameter is changed from one to zero and we want uh, to view all the rows and uh, with the parameter how equals all it gives us the output of all the data irrespective of whether the data is present or missing. Now let us talk about the dot fill na function. So these are the parameters the value that uh, we need to fill in the missing value say for example I want to fill 
uh, a particular value say for example 0 instead of the missing values I can do that uh, the method to fill the uh, missing values uh, so these are the methods backfill b fill padding or f fill and uh, axis is once again as we have seen earlier 0 or 1 stating the rows and or columns let us quickly see the examples of dot fill in a function so here we can see that uh, we are continuing with the same example and when I change uh, and I use the dot fill in a function with 50 everywhere that the data was missing is replaced with 50 so you can see that the age of uh, wiki was uh, missing in our example or uh, or the data frame but it has been replaced with 50. So similarly if I use a method is equal to backfill what it takes is uh, it uh, takes the value from the next row so you can see that the age of Nitin is 20 but the age of wiki is missing so using backfill function the age of wiki is also becomes 20. Similarly if you see that the uh, city of Pooja was missing but the city of uh, Pooja has been taken from the city of uh, Kaushal that is the next row and it has been adapted. So if you use the method is equal to backfill it takes the uh, value from the next row. At this point in time I want you to pause the video and uh, answer this question. The question is what is the difference between drop NA and fill NA function? So the difference between these two functions is drop any function is used to drop the missing values whereas fill any function is used to replace these missing values with either the forward or the backward values or uh, a particular value that the user wants to replace the missing values with. These are the references. Thank you very much.